in this video we will discuss the problem killing spree the problem says that there are infinite number of people standing in a row and the indexing starts from one right so basically the per the first person will be standing at the index one second person will be standing at the index two third person will be standing at the index three and so on if a person is standing suppose at the ith index then the strength of that person will be i into i right and similarly if the person is standing at the index two then his strength would be two into two right this is what the problem is saying the problem is also saying that your strength will be in right the problem is saying that your strength will be in and you need to find what you need to find the maximum number of people that you can kill with this particular strength so if you uh, if your strength is in and let's suppose that you kill the ith person right is standing the person standing at the ith index in that case your strength will decrease by uh, this thing uh, n minus i into i right your new strength would be n minus i into i right this thing will happen and the target is to maximize the number of people that you can kill right uh, if you will read this problem statement the problem says that you need to tell what is the maximum number of people that you can kill with your strength right that you have been given so how will you do this so basic approach is the but first and the uh, basic approach would be that you will think that if you want to maximize the count right let's suppose that you have been given the count let's say as something like uh, 14 right and this thing is there suppose that uh, 1 2 3 4 uh, 5 these kind of people are standing 1 2 3 then 4 and 5 these people are standing so initially your counter would be zero right because you have you haven't killed any person right after this what you will do is you will say that if you want to maximize the number of people that you are killing so you'll be killing the people from the starting right because if you kill the people from the back or somewhere in the middle then in that case you you will not be able to kill the mo most number of people right you'll try to kill the people with which are having the lesser strength right and then then you can maximize right so this is nothing but the index right and um, this is what is strength right according to the index uh, strength will be nothing but i into i that is 1 4 9 and then 16 and then 25 right so what will you do with this case if you're first of all you'll start from the very first person and you'll kill this person right and if if you kill the first person your count changes to one right after that what happens your currently n was 14 now it changes to 13 right after this what happens is you'll kill this person with the uh, standing at the second index the strength is 4 and you can kill it because your, your strength is 13 so if you kill this person in that case your strength changes to 9 and your count changes to 2 because you have killed 2 people up till now then you'll kill this person standing at the index 3 you will be able to kill him because uh, your current strength is 9 uh, your current strength is 9 and the uh, person's strength is also 9 so you can kill him and your strength changes to 0 and after that n is equal to 3 right so you were, you can see that you were able to kill 3 people uh, uh, with the strength that you were given right so basically the task is to maximize the number of people that you can kill and let's suppose that if you were given 10 right if you were given let's say n is equal to 10 in that case what you will do is you'll have 1 2 and 3 right and that is nothing but 1 4 and 9 right according to the indexing and according to the strength right so you can see you can kill the first person right you can kill the first function person your strength changes to 9 and the count becomes one right after that you can kill the second person as well uh, with the strength four and your strength changes to five right and since your strength changes to five after that you cannot kill any person further right so you can see that you were just able to kill two persons right so this is one of the brute force way to do it uh, like just, just the very basic logic to do it so basically what you can say is that you can have a let's say long long int count right you will have the count that is the number of people that you, you will kill and you'll start from the index one you'll, you'll start killing the people from the index one because they will be having the lesser strength and if you are killing the people first which are having the lesser strength in that case you can maximize the number of people that you're killing so you'll be killing until your n is greater than zero right until and unless your strength uh, is greater than zero till then you will try to kill the people right and if uh, it happens that your strength is not greater than the ith person then you will simply break right so this is what you will happen uh, so if uh, n it happens that uh, n is greater equal to i into i that is the strength of the ith person if uh, n is greater than that in that case what you will say is that n is equal to nothing but n minus i into i because because your strength will decrease and since you are killing this person so you will say simply that count plus plus right you will increment the number of people that you are killing otherwise if the current strength if your uh, strength currently after killing some number of people if it's uh, not greater than or equal to if it's not greater than or equal to the strength of the highest person in that case you can simply say that you will break from the loop right as i told you in case of uh, in case when the strength n is equal to 10 was there right and uh, after that uh, when when my ith person was 3 and his strength was 9 but my current strength was 5 so 5 is lesser than 9 in that case you come to the else part and in that case you have to break right because you cannot make, kill any further people right once this uh, part is done so you will every time keep on like once you have done it for the ith person so you will keep on incrementing your eye right basically every time you will keep on uh, incrementing if you if you are able to kill the people right so you will keep on moving to the next person one by one right after that in, in the end you will simply return the count of people that you have killed let's try and quickly compile this code and see if it works on the samples 
So you can see that we are getting the sample output as three. Let's try and submit it. It should get accepted. Evaluating for the result. And you can see that it is able to pass all the test cases, right? But in this case, you can see it's taking kind of a longer time complexity, right? So can we do uh, further optimizations for this particular code? Yes. Basically, what you are doing is you are going for every person and checking whether you can, you can kill this person, kill this person or not, right? But what, what you can do is alternatively, what you can do is you can apply kind of a binary search kind of an approach as well right because uh, otherwise what you are doing you are linear, linearly traversing through the people and then you are checking whether you can kill this guy this guy this guy right every time you are checking but instead what you can do is you have n is equal to let's say 14 right and you have infinite number of people right the first problem says that you have people standing from 1 2 3 4 up till infinity right so for that you can say let's say you have 10 to the power 6 people 10 to the power 7 people so what you have is uh, you can have 10 to the power 6 or 10 to the power 7 or a higher value that depends on you you can even have it as 10 to the power 15 right but 10 to the power 6 should work here so what i'll have is i'll mark my low at the starting right i'll mark my low uh, low at the starting value right at the starting index i'll have my low and high right and i'll calculate the mid so mid i know that how to calculate the mid no mid is equal to nothing but low plus uh, low plus high minus low divided by 2 right why do I do this and not like uh, one of the ways is that I, what I do is low plus high right I do low plus high and then divide them by 2 right but in that case if if suppose that low and high are having some value closer to the int max right suppose that uh, suppose that the maximum capacity that I can in, that an integer can hold is 10 right that is the maximum suppose it can hold and suppose currently my low is equal to 9 and suppose uh, suppose my low is equal to 8 instead right suppose my low is equal to 8 and suppose my high is equal to 5 so in that case what will happen in that case if i do 8 plus 5 divided by 2 so first of all 8 plus 5 will be uh, 13 but 13 is not suppose that in the maximum that an integer can hold is 10 in that case i'll overflow right and this will give me an error so that's why i try to do this optimally and instead what i do is i calculate the mid using this way that is nothing but low plus uh, high minus low and then divided uh, divided by two right so low plus high by minus one divided by two right so i i try to do it this way so that i can calculate my uh, low uh, mid mid value efficiently right basically i'll say it like this uh, right after this after i've calculated my mid now how does this help so suppose my maximum that the integer can hold is 10 and the low value is 8 let's say the high value is 5 right so in that case what will i do i'll say that 8 plus uh, like uh, suppose sorry uh, the suppose that the low value is currently standing at 5 right and the high value is 8 right so if this is the case so you will say that how will it help so basically what will happen you will uh, it will not happen that 5 plus what high minus low high minus low is what high minus low is nothing but uh, this thing 3 and then divided by 2 right so this is how it will get under control right and that's how you calculate the mid so once you have calculated a particular mid right so suppose you have calculated a particular mid so you will say that can you can you kill this much mid number of people right suppose your suppose your mid is currently standing at some index so you will say that from the starting from one can you kill this can you kill this much number of people right so basically uh, what will be the strength that will be required to kill this much people one square plus two square plus three square plus four square up till let's say mid square right that is what you that what will happen uh, instead of this mid suppose that i write x so x square up till x square right one square plus two square plus uh three square uh plus four square up till x square so will you calculate this sum no you will not calculate this every time right basically there is a formula right you know that for this if it goes till the term x so in that case uh, this is nothing but a progression increasing progression uh in which the terms are one square plus two square plus three square right every time it's changing so that's nothing but if the last term is x so the sum of this particular series is going to be is can, can be uh, calculated in order of one time using the series like that is nothing but x into uh, nothing but x into x plus 1 into 2x plus 1 right divided by 6 right so this is how you can uh, calculate the sum of this particular series right so you can calculate the sum of this series and what is the sum right basically this sum is what this this particular sum that you are getting this sum is what this sum is the amount that you require if you are killing mid number of people right so this is the particular sum that you will require because in place of mid you are uh, like this is the mid number of people that you are killing so if you if you can kill this much number of people then what you will try to do you will try to kill more people but for that like basically the sum that you are getting your your current value your current value n should be greater or equal to sum right if it happens right so they can be they can be cases so you know like if i'm killing mid number of people so in that case what will happen uh, they can be some circumstances right suppose that uh, suppose what happens is that the sum that i'm having right the sum this there will be a sum that will be required the total strength that will be required uh, for killing mid number of people if that if if my current strength n is greater than equal to sum 
Right, so in that case, I will try to kill more number of people. If I can kill mid number of people, then I'll in the next try, I will try to kill more number of people. Right, I'll try to kill more number of people. So I'll I'll you know, I'll do what if I can kill mid number of people, then I'll try to shift my binary search and I'll say low is equal to mid plus one. Right, I'll try to kill more number of people. Right, I'll try to uh, increase the value of mid. So that's nothing but for that. What I'll do is I'll say that low is equal to mid plus one. But before that, I'll store in my answer that mid number of people I can calculate, and then I'll try to search in the right side that whether or not I can kill more number of people. or not okay otherwise if it happens that the that the n value is let's say lesser than the sum right if the if i cannot get uh, the sum is nothing but indicating if i indicating the strength that i require for killing mid number of people right because 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up till here so that's nothing but uh, indicated by sum right so if i want if i can if i if n is lesser than sum right in that case if my current strength is lesser than sum so i can say that i need to if i cannot kill mid number of people right i need to kill lesser number of people in that case i should shift my high to nothing but mid minus 1 right so this is how we can apply the binary search approach let's try and quickly implement the code for this particular approach as well and for this particular approach you know that binary search takes order of log n time right so it's going to be very much efficient so what i will say is that suppose if my like in this case i can in this i can have a base case that suppose if my n value is zero right so in that case if i do not have any strength then the answer in the answer i'll return zero otherwise what i will say is that i need to have some variables right so i'll i need to have long long int what i need to have low low initially marked let's say as 1 and i'll mark my high as nothing but 1 uh, 1 e6 that is nothing but uh, this thing 1e6 is nothing but 10 to the power 6 right after this i'll also i'll also require the result so initially i'll say that result is marked as 0 or maybe i can say answer i'll mark the answer as 0 right and what i'll say is i'll have the mid as well right answer is 0 indicating that currently i cannot kill any number of people right and by search condition is nothing but low is less or equal to high right that this is what the basic binary search condition indicates and what i'll do is i'll calculate the mid so nothing that's nothing but long long a, like i have calculated i have the variable for mid So what I will do is I'll calculate the mid and mid will be nothing but what mid is equal to nothing but uh, low plus as I told you for uh, uh, skipping the overflow condition we calculate the mid like this right low is uh, low plus uh, mid is equal to nothing but low plus high minus low uh, divided by two right this is how I'll calculate the mid and then what value I'm getting right let's say long 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 uh int sum it's is what i'm getting right long long int sum is getting for for killing mid number of people right so if i'm killing mid number of people in that case what will be the total sum the total sum as i told you will be nothing but 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square uh plus 4 square up till up till mid square right and that this can be indicated by a series right suppose in place of mid i pass x so in that case i can find the sum that's nothing but x into uh i told you this formula right x into x plus 1 uh into 2x plus 1 divided by 6 right so i can calculate it in order of one time using a particular function so what i can say is that uh, what is the sum that i can get right so i can calculate it using a function in this i can pass the mid so suppose i'm getting mid number of people in that case how much will be the strength that will be required that's nothing but the sum of this series that is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up till mid square right that's uh, that's the series that i want so what i'll have is i'll have a, a long long int function this function is going to do what for me it, it, this function is going to tell me that what will be the strength require if i kid if i kill mid number of people starting from the index 1 if i kill uh, till index mid starting from the index 1 that then the sum is going to be nothing but 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square but i'll not calculate it uh, every time basically what i can uh, i'll not iterate and calculate it i'll calculate it using the uh, series formula right that's nothing but suppose that if i'm passing let's say x in that case the answer would be nothing but x into x plus 1 right x into nothing but x plus 1 into 2 into x plus 1 right and divided by 6 right so this will be the sum of the series right so i'll directly return this much part now now uh, after i get this right so after i get the sum so that is nothing but the strength right that is nothing but the strength required to kill mid number of people right starting from the index 1 Uh, killing uh, people till the uh, mid index right so that's nothing but the sum so in this case if it happens that the sum if the sum that i'm getting if my current strength if my current strength that is n if my strength n is greater or equal to the sum in that case i can say that in the answer i can simply say that i can store this particular mid mid number of people is what i can kill maximum right and i will try to kill more number of people so i'll try to shift my by search towards the right side okay so i'll i'll try to kill i'll try to see whether i can kill more number of people or not right i can kill definitely mid number of people but whether or not i can kill more number of people or not in that case i need to shift my binary to search towards the right so i'll shift low is equal to mid plus 1 right so that i can try to kill more number of people otherwise if the current strength n that i had if it if it was not sufficient to kill mid number of people right so in that case what will i do i'll search i'll 
make my biases shift towards the left side okay that is uh, nothing but i'll i'll reduce the value i'll reduce try to reduce the value of mid uh, that's nothing but high is equal to mid minus one right and after i've calculated it so simply i'll return the final answer let's try and compile this and see if it works on the samples seems to work on the samples let's quickly submit it so you can see that it was able to pass all the test cases in a much efficient time complexity right and for uh, talking about the time complexity of the binary search algorithm so since you are using binary search so the time complexity of this particular approach is going to be order of log n and we did not use any extra space right and for calculating the series we calculated the sum of the series every time till from one square till mid square in order of one time right so that's why it will not require any extra time complexity right so the overall time complexity is going to be order of log n apart from this the space complexity is going to be order of one in case if you like both the solutions both the approaches uh, if you understood both the approaches very well so make sure to hit the like button and also comment understood in the chat thanks a lot for watching this video